Okay, testing, testing. Hi, how are you? My name is Makassi, and today, today is June 2nd, 2023, and um, so if you don't know, if you haven't noticed, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I haven't bought any footwear in a long time, you know, ever since I got my Crocs, I, I never feel like I need another pair of footwear ever, but recently I got my partner a pair of Guidi 788ZI. Yeah, yeah, whoa. Uh. I was duped. I've been researching into those, writing my script, taking beautiful B rolls of it, you know, do what I normally do when I get new stuff to review them. And it reignited my love for boots. And I just, I love how flowy trousers look with like a pair of boots. So, Crocs, Crocs are my most comfortable footwear that I, I have ever worn. And I would like to marry the two. I would like to marry the Crocs comfortability and the beautiful sleek design of boots. So I would like to marry those two together. I don't think it shouldn't be, I don't think it's that hard. Well, it probably is hard because Crocs are super comfortable and you know, boots just in its nature is not the most comfortable, but it will last for a long time. Hence why they have stack like the blah, blah, blah. We'll get into that. But I would like to find a pair of boots that I can wear like my crocs without hurting my feet because i can wear crocs for 24 hours if i can stand all day and i won't hurt anything so but it is a harder task because on top of finding a pair of boots that will have the comfortability of crocs i've also become very selective when it comes to what i buy for my closet because you know i've just I've honed into my taste and I should state that Crocs do, Crocs do make boots and I do have those boots. I'll put it up right here somewhere on the screen. I love them and they're comfortable, they're waterproof, they're great, but it just, it doesn't have that oomph factor. It doesn't have that oh my god factor where it's like, oh my god, I can't wait to wear this. I can't wait to take photos of it. I can't wait to just touch it, feel it. With all of that being said, I have narrowed down to two brands. I have narrowed down to Rick Owens. I have narrowed down to Guidi. So we're going to look into these two brands today, see what they have to offer. And I don't really keep up with a lot of other brands like Saint Laurent, Celine and all that. I mean, I keep up with Celine a little bit just because I like Hedy Sulemane. But with boots, I just, I look into Guidi and Rick Owens and sometimes CCP because, but CCP is not known for their com comfortness. It, it's literally being known for like hurting the wearer's feet. So we're not going to look into CCP today. We're going to focus on Guidi and Rick Owens. Okay, so we're going to look at Rick Owens first. So Rick Owens make a lot of boots, which is great. So on the screen right now, I'm going to populate it with all the Rick Owens boots that they offer that are up for consideration. So first up, there are a lot on the screen right now. So we're going to eliminate the lace up boots because I don't like laces boots. I think... It's a bit of like a try hard and I'm fairly lazy. So we're going to stick to zippers and the elasticized gusset that comes on the Chelsea boots. And, you know, laces are just, it's, it's a burden to like tie it up all the time. It just, it makes the boot more complicated than they need to be. So yeah, we're going to stick to zippers, whether it's front zip, side zip, back zip, or elasticized gusset like the Chelsea boots. It just, it's better for the on and off experience because I don't want to put too much effort to put on my boots. That's why I love my Crocs. Slide in and out. I'm ready to go. Next up, I do not want stack leather heel because although stack leather stack leather heels or stack leather outsoles are great for longevity, they're not that great for comfort. So I would like to, I mean, I'm not ruling them out. So I would like to have at least a blend, you know, you can have some stack leather here, but please put some rubber, put some foam, put some plastic something that will incorporate into the midsole and outsole to provide me with that extra comfortness because my feet i have flat feet and i have wide feet like two of the worst traits if you want to wear boots so i need as much comfort as possible and if i am going to get a pair of boots that will match up to the level of crocs they definitely have to have some sort of plastic eva foam whatever whatever soft material people use or brand use for like running shoes walking shoes um you know all those two so yeah so i want at least a blend so and we also we're also going to eliminate any dark shadow pieces because i want leather I, I, I like leather goods i leather goods makes me excited i i look forward to diving into researching about leather whereas like cotton nylon viscose all of these i'm not too interested in that i really like leather and if 
I, I talked about it in my other video, like why I'm obsessed with leather. Not obsessed, why I like leather. So if you want to, you can go to that video and you can learn a little bit more why I like leather. So we got a few choices left on the screen right now. These are good. So now we're going to look at Guidi. Okay, so Guidi, um, let's populate it right now. Draw it all out. There's a lot on the screen right now. So let's just take a moment and, okay, take a moment and appreciate what you're seeing on the screen right now because it took me so long to do this because you have to find the image, you have to remove the background, you have to make it flow, you have to populate it on the screen. It's If you edit video, if you edit video, you know what I'm talking, you know how hard it is to do this thing. So please just let's take a moment and appreciate all of these beautiful booths I'm populating on the screen. So first, again, we're going to eliminate all the laces, all the boots that have lacing system because, you know, I'm lazy and it just... There's that sleekness of zippers and Chelsea cassettes, so it's like lacing. It just it it overcomplicates a a already looking a pair of good looking boots. You don't need laces for boots. Like sneakers, fine, but boots. Let's keep it simple. Zippers, elasticized gussets like the Chelsea boot, where you're gonna just stretch it out and pop it in. Lacing, too much work. Okay, we're gonna eliminate the stack leather heels again. So take all of those out. It just, you know, I want something, I said it earlier, but I'll repeat it, but I want at least some sort of foam, some sort of rubber, some sort of plastic to, again, I have flat feet. If you, if you have regular feet and you wear shoes that you can wear for eight hours without feeling any pain, I can probably do that five or six because you need that arch, but I don't have it because my feet are flat. So it's harder for me. I, I, I get... I get uncomfortable or I feel the pain sooner than a normal person would. And um, with Guidi, I also, whenever I think of Guidi, I think of horse leather. So we're not going to take anything with calf leather. But the beautiful thing about Guidi is most of their boots, they always release them in like multiple leathers. So for example, they release them in calf leather, in buffalo leather, in ostrich, in crocs. In, I don't know if they do python, but they, horse leather, but they release in a lot of things. So. Whenever I think of Guidi, I think of horse leather. So we're going to keep it as, excuse me, we're going to stick to horse leather. And, you know, Crocs and Osage are very, very expensive and they don't ever go on sale. So so here are all the boots that are left from Guidi. Okay, so we got the Guidi. We got whatever's left of Guidi and we got whatever's left of Rico. And so all of these boots are on the screen right now. These are the one that fits my parameters. Prices at the moment are an issue for me because financially um, I'm doing well. Hopefully it stays this way forever, but I know it won't. So, but you know, that's the future. Let's just focus on the present. So right now I need a pair of boots that will be as comfortable as my Crocs or at least come close to it. So I know what true comfort is now. Crocs has given me that. So I can never go back to like Birkenstock or any sneaker when I want comfort. If I, if I know I'm walking all day, I'm wearing my Crocs. I can wear it all day. I love it and I can make it look good. Nobody, I can wear my Crocs better than most of you wear your kiss boots. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way of saying it. Okay, once again, so what's left on the screen and now are up for consideration. So there's still a lot on the screen, so we need to eliminate some more. So let's add some more parameters. So I think, I think I've owned enough calf leather, so <laughs> what that means now is I have to eliminate all the Rick Owens because he doesn't really make boots with any other anything other than calf. Sometimes he just has python, but those are expensive. I know he's playing around with Parachuchu, the giant fish scale from Brazil, and he has some buffalo leather. But so yeah, okay. So I guess what I'm saying to me right now is that I'm gonna go with Guidi. So just eliminate all of Rick Owens right now. So plus, you know, it just. I love horse leather. I want something exotic. Calf leather is not exotic to me anymore. So, and it's like horse leather. It's, I feel very hippie today. So, you know, owning a pair of horse leather boots, it's just a lot more hippie light or hippie. It feels better to own horse leather than calf leather. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so on the screen right now, these are the boots that I believe will provide me with comfort that will be as close to Crocs as possible. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be as comfortable as Crocs because Crocs is like S tier, you know. Most boots are like C. I don't know how those tier lists go, but Crocs are at the top, and then the boots are at the. So it goes Crocs, sneakers, and boots. So okay, so we still have a lot on the screen. So what we're gonna do now is, I like zippers better. 
So we're going to eliminate all the Chelsea Elasticide Gusset. So we're going to take all of those out. And one more thing we're going to take out, one more parameter we're going to put on is, so I already own front zipper, my Greedy PL2. So I would like to own back zip. So let's eliminate all of the front zips right now off the screen. Because, you know, like with, with the back zippers, you get the full stacking experience. I, I'll put that photo up again. I always reference this photo, but a pair of old used Guidi of back zips, like the stacking just looks amazing. So we're gonna try to get back. We're gonna try to get back zippers instead of front zipper. I already own one. It's just, I don't want to own too many similar boots. So whatever I left on the screen, whether it's one, two, three, or four, I'm gonna keep an eye out for those because currently it is sale season. So one of these, one of these boots are bound to hit my price range. So I will try to get them in the next few weeks and. Eventually, you know, with all the websites that I know, I will find something. But yeah, with this video, I kind of just want to show you guys a little bit of like how I shop. You know, hopefully you find that interesting enough. But yeah, my name is Makassi. I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.